Hello. I'm I'm FaceTiming you because you you're my therapy for the week and judging for how much things we have in common, I'm guessing we also have in common that we have breakdowns very often. Don't look at that closet. It's it's a mess. Please. You can look at him, he's pretty cute. But yeah, um I've on Friday I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this on my face. So my face is all red because I keep freaking freaking out. So I already got my last COVID shot. So I'm very happy to get that over with because I don't do good with what's it called va vaccines. That's what gets me. So I'm glad I'm it's it's done with. But on Friday, I had a meltdown or breakdown, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the difference is, but basically, I put a lot of effort into the people in my life, whether it's hearing them out um, and listening and offering them time and, uh, you know, picking up on details trying to the second i walk into a room full of my family or people i care for i am already sensing everybody's emotions and trying to pick my target to help you know like if one of them feels their energy or whatever feels off it, i just take it upon myself to help heal them because I think we all do the, what we need. You know what I mean? Like we all do what we need. I need somebody to sense how I feel a little more often than never. <laughs> so I tend to do that for other people hoping one day it'll be returned. But that is the dumbest shit ever because nobody cares, you know? And that's why I break down because like I'll put in all this energy and do all this stuff the bare minimum i don't expect it back anymore because you know i've talked to my therapist and she says that if i keep doing this putting all of all my energy into people hoping for it back it's unrealistic and it's not right and it's i need to stop you know so i i can't stop because it's hard okay i can't help not caring especially when that person needs me but it hurts when I know I, enough not to expect the same energy or effort back towards me. But what I don't understand, and this is why I broke down. The person I argued with or whatever, I've been doing, I've been there for them for so long. And like, we got into a fight. You know when people get really angry, they just yell whatever to hurt you? Well, that's exactly what that other person did. And they started to say things that really get to me. And one of them is, you're selfish. And... I was I was supposed to be working and I just couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't go back to work. I freaked out. I got angry. I yelled. I screamed. Um, my voice was cracking. My eyes were red. And the thing is, it's not this person's fault for how my reaction was. It's not their responsibility for how I reacted. Obviously, they shouldn't say mean shit, but at the end of the day it's it's my fault for freaking out but i had to freak out in order to get back to feeling better because it wasn't just what they said that made me this made me feel this way it was a whole lot of things adding up like i've said in my last video you know and i think ooh I'm freaking dropping some i think it's important for us not to look at meltdowns or breakdowns or even just tearing up and crying as a bad thing because it really does help you set yourself back up it's like a reset you know at least for me and that's why i wanted to show you guys what i do when i have a breakdown it's it's or a meltdown whatever you want to call it i'll just keep referring back and forth because i don't really know the difference so um after the breakdowns normally um, I'll start getting really easily 
uh, having more. Uh, you know like when you do something really dumb in public and you didn't think it was possible like tripping Now you know it's possible. So now you can't stop doing dumb shit That's exactly what happens to me with well with that too But like with breakdowns when if I have a breakdown I freak out and I cry and I scream and I just hit the steering wheel and I'm just you know Crying screaming don't know what to do with my feelings. There's so much anxiety um it starts to overfill and basically because i had that and it relieves some stress i start to want to release more and more in all in one go so on friday when i had my breakdown i could not go back to work i could not like i had i had to leave and then things just got worse after that so I cried all the way home and then I went into the house trying to sneak in because I didn't want anybody to see me crying but see my eyes always let me down because they always kind of really swell up and hey everybody I was crying you know they tell everybody so annoying so I had to hide in my room lock myself up and this is when I knew like everybody has to know what helps you with breakdowns I feel like that's very important and one of the things that helped me is lock myself up and cry it all out because if you don't what if you weren't done you know when you're pooping and you get up and you weren't done <laughs> and then you have to go back again freaking annoying right or you have to go back to whatever you're doing school and then you weren't done pooping and it's still there like it's like dude i wasn't done so you have to go back to the bathroom and finish pooping it's like that where it's like if you didn't finish your your crying you have to go finish it and you don't want to freak out in public because that's just worse and embarrassing so i think it's important to lock your stuff up in your room and cry it all out it's it's better than what breaking a wall come on are we men here no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> oh not all men not all men <laughs> just kidding but anyways it's healthy to like cry it out so i did i locked myself up um and it helped that my family was out and i was just crying and remembering everything that has bothered me for example my family kept waking me up it was so annoying and i had a f kind of like a fever from the vaccine or whatever so it was hard for me to be dealing with that so i kept getting moody and then i just stayed awake after that and i was remembering all the dumb shit like how many times i've listened to people talk about their problems and never have i felt that people wanted to hear about mine like it's always one-sided it feels like like i have to force my way into conversation like oh see this would like when is when do people care about me it's like i never i don't have to be i'm not asking for the main character role here i'm just asking for like you know, at least you're, the character that's by your side can get one episode where you like, hear me out. But no, 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 no. That's why I have to be on here because you guys are, you guys listen to me. So yeah, I freaked out, cried a little bit in here. And all weekend I've been crying, trying to let it all off before work. Tomorrow I go back to work and I'm not looking forward to it because I have to explain to my manager that I left you know and oops i um i'm gonna lie the hell out of it because you know a lot of people don't understand and don't hold mental health in a high regard basically so if i tell her i had a melt meltdown in the parking lot and i couldn't return she would be like what is that you know so i'm just gonna tell her i just felt sick and i hate lying but she wouldn't understand i know she wouldn't so yeah i have to go in tomorrow in line i hate that shit i hate lines anyways trying to get better from um a breakdown i already cried that was step one cried all out make sure you're done and my eyes are looking i rubbed them pretty hard rubbed my eyes my makeup stain on see that's why i wear um water proof makeup because you never know when you're gonna have a breakdown so there you go <laughs> um and now i'm doing this face mask and because i feel like self-care is very important to help you feel better about everything um 
And since I got my shot and I'm completely done, I can finally go maskless and um, not have acne anymore because I'm so tired of it. So now that I'm done doing this, I'm going to let it dry, peel it off, and hopefully move on to the next self-care. But right now, I think I'm going to do some chores. So I can't make my bed because it's almost time to go to sleep. One other important thing, guys, at least for me, you guys go ahead and share what what helps you get recover from a meltdown in the comments. That will help all of us. So we'll be trying, oh my god, look how I applied this. That's how you know that I'm not doing so good right now. Normally, I'm so like, it has to be perfect. But right now, it's just like, I can barely do anything right now. Anyways, um, if you're wondering why Manny has a hat on, a birthday hat on, and so does my other friend. It's because they're celebrating uh, Manny's birthday. So go ahead and say happy birthday, Manny. <laughs> so yeah. Um, what was I telling you guys? Yeah, write in the comments what helps you guys get better from a meltdown or a breakdown. Whatever it is, to let us know. And do not write <laughs> having um, any, you know, unhealthy coping skills. Because... We all need less of those, okay? Try to say something healthy and that will help you guys feel better, okay? Or if you don't, Manny will take his happy, happy birthday hat on and you'd ruin his birthday. Do you want to do that? I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I another thing I think is important to do when you have, you're trying to, you know, um, get better from being sad is oof, not ruin your mustache, damn it, um, is get yourself, like, a drink that makes you happy, or a snack, and to me, it's a Dunkin', the Dunkin' coffee. Dunkin' is super sweet and warm, not like most people, I'm just kidding, but yeah, I'm gonna wait until this dries, and meanwhile, I'm going to vacuum my room, because I'm so tired of stepping on it and feeling hair, because my hair falls off so easily. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go vacuum it. Maybe vacuum my car. I'm not sure. I maybe will make my bed. Because it's a mess right now. And I have to wash this off. Okay, I'll be right back. I finished vacuuming in my room, but look at all that. It's like white little dots. It's all the dandruff that fell in my room. Just kidding. <laughs> it's um that powder. Do you guys put that on your um, floor? So one of the things I take pride from is every time somebody comes into my room, they say it smells different from the whole house. They say it smells like a like an office because I I really like to clean my carpet at least once once a week with powder like putting powder in it and even after a few vacuums it still pulls some of it out so maybe it's not such a good thing but it keeps it smelling so good but I'm not gonna vacuum my car because I'm lazy I need a shower too I need to get ready for work tomorrow um. Oh, I feel so good. There you go. So, um, since I have anxiety, um, I always feel like, like I get nervous over pretty much everything, and it's so exhausting. One of the things is being extremely late for work or not going. I don't want to have to explain to my manager that, you know, I'm a lazy piece of shit or didn't make it. Uh, so, I have to get ready the night before. So, I don't have, you know, so I'm not nervous sleeping. Nervous sleeping, I feel, is like when I go to sleep, but in my head, I don't rest completely. Because I'm thinking of the things I have to do when I wake up. And since I'm not a morning person... 
Sorry, I'm trying to ignore this part because it's really cluttered over there. So, um, I have, I told you guys I have the makeup. What is it called? The waterproof makeup. I'm not always constantly in the water. It's just that it actually, I'll do my eyeliner super heavy the night before the work week. And then I'll just go to sleep. When I wake up, it's still on. It's still fine. I'll just do my eyebrows a little bit and my hair. I also braid it. I'll sleep in a braid and I'll just go like that because I sleep. I'm a night shower, so I'll sleep clean and my hair will be done. And it only takes 20 minutes to do my hair, my makeup, and my teeth, brush my teeth. So 20 minutes for bedtime, basically. And that makes me 80% ready. Not only that, I also pick out my outfit the night before the work week because it helps me not stress out i base it off of the weather and that helps a lot so yeah i do that and no it's not good for you to sleep in your makeup but it's also not good for me not to sleep completely thinking that i have to do all this and if i don't do my makeup i just feel extremely um paranoid about how i look like i just like to feel good it's not even to impress other people it's more of like to be content with myself you know um so yeah that's what i do so i still have to do all that shower too i like to shave my whole body i just i feel clean even though i did do the hair laser thing but i just stopped going because i'm very scared of driving and it was really far so i might one day keep do that do that again but for now it's shaving just in case and yeah i have to shower for me one of the things about self-care is i have to shower because if i don't i just feel dirty and sad that's why i cleaned my room a little bit i like vacuumed here i'll show you the floor i do want to do like the wet vacuum but I don't really know how to use it. Please excuse my eyes are swollen. That's why I looked weird. My face is red from the mask. But yeah, I wanna use this thing. But the thing is, it's like I'm not using it right because I always make the floor way too wet. So every time I step in it, it's just like, oh, my feet are always so wet. How many times am I gonna say that? But yeah, I do need to clean my, my floor because again, I think the majority of the smell is from the floor in any any room pretty much but other than that i need to still shower and stuff i got my bed ready for a nap a nap it's all ready so yeah i'll come back to you guys when i'm ready to shower so another thing i do that um will help me get better is doing like a small workout and I know it's kind of difficult to do a workout when you have an ad you know like you start to that part of my uh, mind takes over it'll start to make me do it all the time the workout and then more and more and more and it just gets worse until I can't even do a workout I'm so weak that's why it's important to kind of try to not overdo it not let it get to you and always use working out as like something to help you calm down and you know help you instead of a torture device that's why i try when i'm like really anxious i'll try to do a workout and that's why i'm going to do one now so it can kind of help me my like when i have a meltdown or breakdown it's a lot of anger spewing out you know and they come through tears and you know freaking out so that's why i feel like if i do a workout it'll release some of that anger i'll use it in that so that's what i'm gonna do and yes i took off my shirt and stuff because i like to work out with barely any clothes on because i don't want to sweat on clothes and i don't like sweating and wet clothes is worse i do have an underwear though because i don't want to see everything you know it's awkward but it's TMI, but whatever. We've talked about everything here, even poop. And my friends here have seen me naked and 
they have not once judged me so that's really nice so if you guys ever need non-judgmental friends i recommend getting a mannequin <laughs> um but anyways yeah i'm gonna go do that and then i'll go shower wash this stuff off because it's still there so that is how i make it like i will put on something on the tv and then i'll um work out here and i have to that's a mirror that I placed there. I want to see how I am doing everything properly because I'm not in tune with my body. Um, sometimes I'll try like a workout that's just like dancing, but I, I don't like how I look when I dance because I'm not in tune with my body and I just look really awkward, but I'm just doing it for stress relief. I'm, I'm not going to keep up with this because I know this can get addicting for me. Um, eventually it becomes a coping thing and it can get too extreme and I become very strict so I'm just gonna do it to feel better and get all that negative energy out but yeah that's about it it'll probably just be like I forgot to pick up this thing it'll probably be like 20 minutes or 10 minutes so and it also helps kind of make me warm enough like hot enough you know sweaty to want to take a shower because my bathroom is really cold and I have to the vacuum or the vacuum point the heater into the bathroom to warm it up a little bit so yeah okay I'll be back dude I just sweated so much and now I have to shower I feel so much better already like I feel so good like it's almost like nothing really happened my skin still looks pretty bad but hopefully without having to wear the mask all the time and no i'm not washing my hair because i'm lazy i don't care if it's all sweaty but i do wash my my body every day in really really hot water okay because oops did i flash you i'm sorry if i flashed you um but yeah it feels good to shower. I feel like um, if I don't shower, that means I'm really in a bad place. It's kind of like the bare minimum I shower, even if it means no shaving. As long as I shower, I'll be okay. I'll be back, guys. Hello. I already showered and I put my skin cream on. Look how bad it is. It's really red. Did my makeup. It's just my eyes and my lips that I do, and I go to sleep and it wears off a little bit, but it won't be this extreme in the morning. That's why I do it at night, and because I want to be 80% ready, at least. So, I also, I'm gonna do my hair, and look at that. I put baby powder on it for um, the sweatiness. <sighs> Should I dye my hair white like that, guys? Doesn't everybody do it eventually? I don't know. Judging by how sensitive my hair is, just as sensitive as me, um, it will die as soon as I do anything to it. So, maybe not. Uh, what was I going to tell you? I picked out my outfit. Tomorrow's going to be 91 degrees. And I, wear, I work at a place where there's no AC. So, this is my outfit. And then my shorts. And I'm kind of self-cautious about the shorts because they're very fresh. They're boy shorts. They're very fresh, but oh my gosh, I have no curves. Like, I, I have no butt, okay? And it's very... Like, the, when I um, got into my head, the first thing I lost was, you know, when I was losing weight was my butt, basically. I used to have, like, a normal one, and I would wear skinny jeans all the time because I wasn't self-cautious about it. But ever since I stopped eating the whole you know bullshit it was the first thing to go away and it has not returned and hopefully it'll find its way back because i don't want a big big butt or whatever i just want a normal one that i don't feel so self-cautious about wearing uh you know stuff that's a little bit warm fitting because wearing sweatpants all the time is just doesn't look very um put together i guess i don't know but yeah there's that maybe i should just start working out my um my legs and butt because they're way too thin and it's very annoying because i did not lose weight 
like you know my ed doesn't didn't come so i could lose weight because i thought i was really fat it came from me not feeling worthy enough to eat because i just felt like i didn't deserve it since i, d I couldn't even get unconditional love basically so that's why but since i'm trying to get better um hopefully while i eat i'm eating and you know i can get something back but yeah this shirt is pretty comfortable i had to tie my bra <laughs> so i didn't show the straps but yeah that's about it i think i'm gonna finish eating my subway because i didn't want to eat it all in one go it's weird how when you start to eat you eventually aren't starving all the time so it's kind of like i don't could care less about food that's why i don't cook as much anymore i don't want to like think about it 24 7 i'm actually thinking about other stuff it's so crazy it's very um it's it's very normal and that's all i really wanted you know after being in that cycle for so long so yeah there's something you have to look forward to when you are trying to get better you no longer think about food 24 7 you know but yeah i am ready to probably go to sleep soon i might do my nails i'm not sure but that's about it i feel so much better and if you have any my, my leg just cracked but if you have any um pointers or advice for anybody else trying to get better after a meltdown or a breakdown please leave them in the comments uh, i will be looking for ideas down there too and it will help a lot of us share remember keep it healthy um because we don't want to start you know um sharing uh messed up things because we don't need any of that anymore at all just try to put healthy stuff for things that help you guys but yeah that's it um let me know what you guys think of all this and um just remember crying and breakdowns is normal just as long as it doesn't hurt you it can be a release you know and a reset so and don't feel bad for me i i needed to let it you know sometimes you have to get through things and not over them and ignore them so this is not for pity this is just me trying to share something that you guys could probably relate to thanks for face answering my facetime call and hopefully i get to facetime you next week okay bye